Hey, my beautiful people, this is ERGJ with the ERGJ Experience 365 back with a video. And today's title is Only When It's Dark Do We Truly Appreciate the Light. Only when it's dark do we truly appreciate the light. And I want to tell you a story today that I was inspired by. Hopefully this inspires you. And some of the things that I took away from this experience that I had tonight. Uh, had a, had someone that I had been uh, working closely with who had been going away for about uh, for about three months. Um, he had uh, before he had gone away, he was uh, you know had a nice job. He was uh, doing well uh, for himself uh, and making some headway. And then he had a unfortunate incident that landed him in jail for about seventy days. And so while he was in jail, he um, you know, experienced that life and came out and he presented to me today a, a business plan that he had came up with while he was in jail. Uh, had he written it out and he wrote some cover letters and did, did some things like that, just based on a true story. And uh, when he wrote this out, I said to him, I said, man, so how long, uh, you know, I see that you're inspired, but how long have you been having this dream about whatever it is that you, you know, this business plan is about? How long have you been having this dream? He said, man, he's actually on and off been having it about 10 years. I said, man, that's 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 something else. I said, for 10 years, you've been having this dream, but you're finally starting to actually put some energy into making your dream come true. And that's my number one question for you today, guys, is are you putting any energy into making your dream come true? And here's a guy that's been having this dream for 10 years. It's been coming up. It's been popping up in his life. And I believe that God is not an Indian giver. He gives you a gift of vision. And he says, write the vision down and make it plain. He finally did that while he was in jail. 10 years of having this dream, he finally wrote the vision down and made it plain. I'm talking about detail. I'm talking about a cover letter. I'm talking about a real true business plan that was done all while he was in jail. And guys, I don't want you to be in that position where you have to wait until life hits you in order for you to put energy into your dream. I want you to pursue your dream. I want you to go after it. I want you to go after it while you're free, free to do it, free to take some time to put some energy into your dream. Now, as I was talking to him, I said, man, you know, that's that that's that's phenomenal. I asked him, well, you know, what is it that finally hits you? Uh, to go ahead and make this plan. I mean, I know that you were in jail. I know you had plenty of time to think, but you know, even when we have time to think, many of us still don't think. Uh, he said he was inspired by his own thoughts. I said, man, I've been in that place where I've been inspired by my own thoughts. And I think true inspiration comes from the inside, not the outside. When's the last time that you were inspired by your own thoughts? See, many of us, we don't take the time throughout the day to just think. We really don't. We don't take the time. Everything is already planned. Everything is already in a routine. But when do we actually take the time to just think? And when I say think, I'm talking about think. I'm talking about dream. I'm talking about visualize the life that you want to live. And also, I was I talking to him. I said, well, what, what really is inspiration? He said, well, uh, you know, he really wants to, you know, have this not for him, but for his son and for his grandson, for them to be able to build upon it something from which he started. And I said, wow, this is absolutely amazing. Um, you just had a legacy dream. That's right, a legacy dream. It's a dream that you have that goes far beyond you. It stretches past you and goes on to your children's children. And I believe a legacy dream is something that each and every one of us has inside of us. And I believe this legacy dream is part of what the Bible says that you should leave an inheritance to your children's children. Some of your inheritance, is, of course, is money, is wealth, is power, but I believe some of it is a piece of you, and a piece of you can be your idea. A piece of you could be what you started that you could pass down. A piece of you is what you own. See, he understands now that he can't pass a job down to his son or his grandson, but what he can pass down is a business that he started, something that was in his heart that he put the seed in, he started, he got it going for five years, for 10 years, for 15 years, or whatever, however long it is that he has to put energy into this, and he gives them the opportunity to take it to another level. I want to know what's in you. What is in you? What is your legacy dream? Because this guy was a guy that finally saw the light when he was in the dark. He finally appreciated this dream when he had everything pretty much taken away from him. You know, think about it, being in jail, uh, for whatever reason he was in jail for, being away from your friends and family, can't spend Thanksgiving, can't spend Christmas with them, what are you going to do? You got time to actually put in your place, put into place your dream, your plan. And, and my desire in this 2016 year is for every one of you to develop your life plan. And I'm going to help you with it. I've actually got a service called Future by Design where I actually help you design the next five years of your life. 
So here's what this guy did. He is designing the next five years of his professional life, what he's going to do. Because obviously he came back from jail. He doesn't have a job anymore. And that's another thing, right? You got to take control of your own life. I mean, just imagine working 30 years, 16 years, 20 years at some place. You have one unfortunate incident and then, boom, all that you've worked for and who you work for, who you've worked with and what you work for is taken away from you. You don't have control of that. I want you to be in a position where you say, I choose to work, not that I have to work for someone else. That you choose to do it because that's what you love to do, but that you don't have to do it so you can walk away anytime that you feel uncomfortable. Here's a guy that's been in this business for 30 years. He's been working with the same company for 16 years, had some unfortunate incident happen, and that caused him to lose his job. But now he's walking out of jail with a business plan. He's walking out of jail with inspiration to take control of his own life. It's unfortunate he had to go through this, but I believe that this is life's way of speaking to him and saying, hey, when are you going to give your dreams a chance? And he said he had given it a chance before, but during that chance, he uh, actually had put it in. It was attached to someone else. He said that when, the, when someone else lost faith in the idea, he began to lose faith as well. And I want to tell him that, well, the vision is just your vision. It's your vision. It's for you to have faith in it. Now, you're going to have people along the way that's going to help you, that's going to encourage you, that's going to get you across the finish line. But ultimately, guess what? You're the one that's got to walk across that finish line. It's your vision. It's your dream. And I'm asking you today, when are you going to see the light? I don't want you to have to wait until you get into a dark place to appreciate the light. When I say that light, I'm talking about that idea that's been given to you, that dream that's been given to you, that desire that's been given to you. That's the light. And if you see the light, I want you to follow the light all the way to your best life yet. Take the time to think. Take the time to design your own life. It's the only one you got. This is ERGJ with the ERGJ Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in. My mission is always 1,000 views, 100 likes. Hey, if you like what we're doing here, love this message. Hit like, hit subscribe, and please share. Have a good day.